Hello everyone and welcome back to more Steven Play Skyrim. You may recall that on the last episode we were working on our smithing so we could power up to the next level of armor. I did it. We are now in glass armor. It looks fantastic. And yes, even though he's a moron, I also got some for Argyle as well. Uh, today we are traveling over to Dawnstar because I actually got a... Uh, a little note between episodes from some guy. Let me see if I can pull it up here. Uh, museum pamphlet. Check this out. Uh, Silas Vesuvius presents the Museum of the Mythic Dawn, a history of the cult that toppled the Septim Dynasty inside of his very own home in the great capital of the Pale, Dawnstar, free and open to all citizens of Skyrim. We haven't done that yet, so I figured we would go check it out. So we've been here a few times before, but not too many. I'm not sure where the museum is, but there is a convenient marker, so we're going to uh, go over there and check it out. Such a beautiful night tonight. There's someone standing Your outside of it. Ancestors wouldn't want this, Silas. Why should I hide from it? This is my family's legacy. It's the past. Dead oaths on dead lips. Let it stay there. The museum is opening. The What's going on here? Hey, yo. I beg you, don't go into Silas's museum. Who's Silas, and what's this museum? Even though I actually know all about it. Silas comes from one of the oldest families in Dawnstar. They have a complicated history. Several of his ancestors belong to the Mythic Dawn, the cult that almost destroyed Tamriel. His family's involvement was only found out well after the crisis had died down, but it still ruined their reputation. They were outcasts. And now Silas is back, and this museum to the Mythic Dawn is his way of trying to rebuild his family's pride. It's misguided. Uh, so who were the Mythic Dawn? Not a student of history, I see. It's for the best. They're a group that should be forgotten. The only thing you need to know is that they almost destroyed the world, and they were stopped a long time ago. Okay. That museum is a mistake. I mean, I don't think it's right to bury history, but I understand you caring for this dude and him maybe r ruining his reputation further. And here comes my first visitor. The Museum of the Mythic Dawn is open, friend. Uh, I'm gonna ask you a question even though I just spoke to your lady friend about it? Yes. My collection of artifacts from a group that toppled an empire. Why don't you come in? You can browse the displays and we can talk. I have a job you look perfect for. Uh, sounds good, I guess. Let's talk inside. Sure. Started. Pieces of the past. Silas is heading inside. I guess we should go inside too. Feel free to look around. Come talk to me when you're ready to discuss that job I mentioned. Alright. The tapestries hung here and outside were found in hideouts where members of the Mythic Dawn would meet and plot. The cult's greatest accomplishment was the assassination of the Septim Dynasty and the opening of the Oblivion Gates. So, this is in your house, and, um. It's not much to it. It's just like four Those artifacts. Were worn during the Mythic Dawn secret meetings where they plotted to bring the Daedra Mehrunes Dagon into Tamriel. Each bolt of yarn used to make the robe was colored with a dye made from sacrificial blood. Good. What is this thing? I... I can't open it. Let's go to another one. That burned paper is all that remains of the fabled Mysterium Xarxes, the blasphemous book written by Mehrunes Dagon himself. It's said that Mankar Cameron used the book to open a portal to a paradise where all his followers would live forever. Hmm. And this other thing? The commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes were written by the Mythic Dawn cult leader, Mankar Cameron. He promised a paradise awaited his followers when they died, that they would be reborn by Merun Stagon's side. And this, I'm assuming, is probably what you're still looking for, right? Let's chat. Did you have any questions about the museum? Or would you rather talk business? Actually, um, you know, a courier gave me this pamphlet. And here you are. I hope you found the museum to your liking. Uh, yeah. Oh, he took my pamphlet. Well, that's fine. 
Um, so why did you open this museum? It's no secret that my family were once members of the Mythic Dawn. One of my forefathers was even chosen to assassinate Uriel Septim himself. We hid from our past for years, became tradesmen, people of coin and influence. But I realized that the Mythic Dawn's importance, our importance, to history cannot be denied. I'll see everyone in Tamriel remember that for a moment, we held the fate of the world in our hands, for good or ill. Okay, so for you, it's not really about a history thing. It seems to be more like, hey, my family was important and we could have killed all of you, and that's for the wrong reasons. Tell me a little more about this mythic Dawn cult. They were worshippers of Mehrunes Dagon, the Daedric Lord of Destruction and Change. The mythic Dawn killed Uriel Septim VII and his heirs, triggering the events that led to the Oblivion Crisis when the Daedra invaded Tamriel. All that remains of the infamous cult I've gathered in my museum. Hmm. So who is Mehrunes Dagon? Ah, an excellent question. Mehrunes Dagon is the Daedric Lord of Change, Destruction, and Ambition. Dagon's mythic Dawn cult killed the Septim Dynasty and opened the Oblivion Gates into Tamriel. They called it the Oblivion Crisis. Yeah, I think I might have played that one. Uh, let's talk about this job you want done. A little history first. After the Oblivion Crisis, a number of groups cropped up dedicated to wiping out the remnants of the Mythic Dawn. One of these groups found Merun's Razor, the artifact of Dagon. They split it into three fragments and pledged to keep them apart forever. That was almost 150 years ago, and the pieces are still being kept by the descendants of that group. And they're right here, in Skyrim. Hmm. So, you want me to get those fragments? At least two of the owners, Gonzol and Draskua, are dangerous marauders. And the third owner, Jorgen. I only know he lives in Morthal. Here are my notes about them. I'll gladly pay you for getting the pieces any way you can. No questions asked. Hmm. Well, that seems, uh, seems easy enough. I want to know more about this razor. The razor is Merun's Dagon's personal artifact. It has always heralded bloody change and carnage. It's held many names. Dagger of the Final Wounds, Bane of the Righteous, the Kingslayer. The Mythic Dawn worshipped Dagon as a god. Having his razor would be invaluable to my collection. Well, I think we can make it happen, my friend. Good luck finding the fragments. Alright, uh, we should probably take a look here at uh, what we got. So, we already came here. Pieces of the past. Silas Vesuvius. There's actually no V in that. Well, there's a V at the front. Is offering me gold to retrieve the three pieces of Mehrun's razor. Draskia has the pommel. Zunzo has the blade shards. And Jorgen has the hilt. So, we just have to choose one and then go do it. Let's uh, look at it on the map here. Uh, so one is back here next to Dead Crone Rock. Uh, we've got another one here in Morthal from Jorgen. And uh, the other one is far down here at the, cr the Cracked Tusk Keep. I say we start by going over to the Cracked Tusk Keep and seeing if we can get the, uh, the blade shards. All right, here we are, and it looks like... <laughs> oh, goodness. Do you want to play? Back off. Back off. Well, you haven't met me and my associates. This is my good buddy Argyle and my other associate, Lil Breckfleck. And you, my friend, are about to get feindled. Huh! Gotcha! That sucks, doesn't it? Really, you were the only lookout. Apparently there's no one else in there that cares about you. Hello, anybody home? Wait for it, wait for it. Hidden again. Good night. Boom in the face! All right, we got more friends in here, more friends in here. Slowing down time, shooting you in the butthole. Gotcha, Orc Hunter. Is that it? I'm detected, but by who? Don't see anyone else. I'm warning you. Back off. Oh, someone is still not hostile. Really? Well, let's change that right this second. You didn't like that very much, did you? Bandit thug right through the brain, and I can continue to approach you. Oh, you don't like this very much. I have so much stamina that it has no effect on how long I need to remain 
In slow motion, boom. I am fain to hear me roar. Man, you took so much stuff right to the face, you poor soul. I'm gonna take your gold, I'm gonna take my arrows back, and then I am gonna take those blade shards. Let's get in here and do it. Okay, let's see, what are we dealing with? Get another minor healing here. It could be me! <laughs> oh, he made quick work of you. Let's use a door in here. Careful, they know that we're here, they just don't know where. Is there someone down this way? What the heck is this thing? Unlock cage. What the... Not really sure what that means. Um, unlock Skyrim. So these are ways out. Alchemy lab. Where there is a cage, there's usually a, uh, a key, so we won't have to try and use our lockpicking skills. I'm not the best at lockpicking. Good night! Oh, in the jugular! Sucks for you, doesn't it? Orc hunter! Gold! Like of goat lockpick. No, 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 no. Eh, you're you're fine. Let's move on. Wooden door. We are very close at this point to what we need. He hasn't seen us. Okay, he's seen us. Let's get out our good friend. Volunt okay, I need to stand up though. You don't like that very much, do you? No, oh, he's already dead. I'm still swinging. All right, so we got him. Uh, he's got the vault key, the gold. And, uh, you, oh. You don't actually have the item, you just have the key to the stuff. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, oh, and a nice little chest for our troubles. Gold, silver, don't need any of this. Okay, let's move on, shall we? Wait a minute, hold on. I just need to double check something. Elven gilded armor. Holy, holy crap. It says my armor rating would go down. Oh, I thought my armor rating, let's see. Oh, my glass armor is higher than that. For a minute, I didn't know that what the what the gilded was. I don't know if I've seen that before. All right, so through this door, open Skyrim. Now that's to another one, I think. What we need to do is go down here. Yeah, almost positive this will open it up. Oh, I hit the button. I don't think I've ever seen this anywhere else in the game. That's interesting. All right, down into the vaults. What's up, bro? How'd you get in front of me? You were behind me a second ago. Alright, you guys are gonna have to get out of my way. God, you guys are always in the way. Um, hmm. Activate button. The button's kind of flimsy. There we go. What does that do? There's some crap here. But nothing I really, truly need. Although I will take that healing potion. Um, hmm. Nope. There's a button here. Nothing to really, truly need. I'm finding a lot of low-level potions, but I actually bought a good bit of uh, high-level potions. You know what I should do? I just thought of it. I go to potions here. I can actually favorite this, and then I can go here and sh put this to, like, four. And then if I want to use one, I can just tap four. It's been a while. Oh! Okay, it looks like we have a little puzzle here. Activate lever. Activate lever. Okay, maybe not a puzzle. It's so much as just hitting two levers. Oh, look at that! Tripwires! I have a feeling there's going to be trouble. Um, did you think? You moron? We're, we're looking at tripwires and they're shooting us with all sorts of th Oh, and look at this. Is there any other way to make that go off? What is... I think whenever I pick this up, these things are going to slash back at me. But I ran out of the way. What's this do? That's how you do it. Okay. Well, that was easy enough. That wasn't difficult at all. We got the blade shards. I think uh, next we will move on to... Let's look at the world map here. I think next we'll move on to uh, the back of Dead Crone Rock. Alright. Dead Crone Rock. And uh, the arrow on the overworld map was actually appearing, like, up and behind it, so there's a possibility that the guy could just be hiding up. Oh, goodness. Oh, we have friends approaching us from behind. Oh, there's a troll! What up, Briarheart? Ugh! Oh, God, that's not good. Yeah, <laughs> you should drink a potion or use a healing spell to recover. Yeah, no duh. Okay, well, let's uh, do some quick thinking here. Items. Potions. 
Let's use that. That seems like a good idea. Hmm, good stuff. Oh, God, that guy is really, really good. Oh, I gotta remember that I can tap four now. That's what I've been doing. Alright, let's use another one of those. He's really cutting through my armor like a knife. Ugh. Got him, though. And uh, I think we can deal with the troll pretty easily. Whew. Are you guys still shooting at us? They really wish that they could be with us, but it's not going to happen. Whoa, whoa, Argow. Whoa, buddy, watch the language. There's children that watch this. All right, let's put this away and go into Dead Chrome Rock. Okay, where the... what the... Oh, I thought this was it, and I was like, why are we... <laughs> why are we here? This is confusing. Let's get out my double swords and see what, uh... You want a piece of this? You want a piece of old oh, Yeah! Uh, come on, baby. Uh, uh. Didn't like that very much, did you? All right. The Forsworn are pretty difficult, but we can get through this. Got him. Uh, also, for some reason, this is leading me back outside the way I came, but I can't help but think that that's just incorrect. Pretty sure we need to continue up. That's probably the way they want us to go. Careful. Jesus, Ravager. Uh. Okay, don't, no, ow, ow, ow. You want a piece of this? Yeah, you don't like two swords coming at you at once, do you? I don't have the stamina, though. Come on. Come on. Got you now. Woohoo! Would have been nice to have a decapitation there, but I understand. Switch back over to my good buddy, Volingrude. And uh, there's got to be a way to get through that door. Um, we can then lock this door. Feels like there's someone breathing behind that door. For a minute, I thought it was a little breakfast, -like, but I don't think so. Let's go in here and see if anything sticks out. This is a weird-looking place. I will take more extreme healing, <laughs> and maybe a saw, because we might need a saw. Now, what could they be using the saw for? May oh, maybe for the goat heads. That would make the removal of goat heads far simpler. Oh, I ran through a trap. Oh, hey, this is what I want. A game at dinner. Oh, it increases my alchemy. Oh, well, good good for them. All right, let's uh, activate this lever. And go back the way we came through all of the, the problems. Back through here. Little breakfast. Keep it together. Where the balls is Argyle? It, I think he's wasting his life away again, which is something he does. Uh, let's go up here and see if there's more trouble. I definitely hear a uh, uh, Hagraven, but she didn't load or something, so eh, better for me. Okay, is she out here? No, I guess I couldn't hear her through map transitions, but whatever. Let's move up. Oh, there you are. Oh my god, Jesus. Ah, okay. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. All right. You, you have got some stuff you want to do to my body. Oh, there you are, Argyle. Nice for you to show up. Feel my wrath. Whew. Oh, hey, there's a word wall up here. Well, that's freaking convenient. Give me what you got. Give me the good stuff. Please. More quickly. Fear. Dismay. Okay. Haven't got that one yet. Cool. Uh, unusual gem. What the balls is this? Bring the unusual gem to an appraiser. Okay, I'll get around to it. Oh, and there's a key for this entire place. There's a goat. All right, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, oh my god, I'm still getting hurt. Pommelstone of Mayrun's Razor, that's what we're here for. You have got to go. Holy crap. I got you, buddy. You seem to be very stupid, which is very normal for you. We're good. Uh, little Brackflex seemed to disappear. I don't know where he went. He was here a second ago. <laughs> Unless that's him. Uh, but it's not. That would be rude and mean. Um, okay, let's check this chest, see if there's anything useful in here. There's some gold lockpicks. Cool leather helmet of the restoration. A amulet of Debella. I'm good. Okay, so um, the next order of business, if we check our map here, uh, is to go to Morthal, right? And uh, this one may not have an enemy because it, it said just talk to Jorgen. So we're going to go to Morthal and talk to this Jorgen guy. All right. Put this away. Ah, there you are. I thought you had escaped. Oh, hey. 
What's going on over here? What's the Jarl going to do about it? How are we supposed to feel safe in our own homes? Please, enough already. I have told Igrid of your concerns. She'll look after you all. Please, go about your business. Please don't mind Yorick. He's not mad. Really, he's not. Orthog has enough problems as it is. Ah, it's no use. Let's get back to it then. I don't know what's going on here. Hey, buddy. Unless it's about the mill. I don't have time to talk. Too much to do. No, I could make it worth your while. I'm looking for pieces of Mehrun's razor. Don't know what you're talking about, stranger. Really? Because Silas Vesuius, I guess that's how you say it, says otherwise. I've heard of him. My father had suspicions about his connection to the mythic Don. Guess they were true. I don't need this. My family wasted eight generations keeping that razor safe from a dead cult. As far as I care, I can stay locked in my house. Ooh. You know, I'll, I'll pay for it. The vines know the mill could use some new blades. All right. It's yours. Here's the keys. It's locked in the chest inside my house. Cool. I All don't right. care about your other problems. Let's see. Your house is where? We're close to this marker, so it must be the one over the hill. Hey, how's it going, buddy? I... I'm not one for talk. Try to keep to myself. Yeah, I know the feeling. Me too. Alright, so this must be his house. Let's go check it out and get that razor. And get on with our lives. Cool. And you're right here. Unlock this thing. Hilt of Mehrun's razor. Got it. Can I also have your gold? Because I took it. Alright. Now, back to Silas. Silas! Bro, guess what I got? What is it? Do you have one of the razor fragments? Well, I actually have all of them. All at once? You're efficient. I like that. Here's your reward. Finally, all the pieces of Merun's razor are in my hands. It's time I let you in on something. There's a fourth piece, that scabbard in the display case, built to house the razor. And there's more. I know how to put all the pieces together. We just need to take them to Dagon's shrine and contact the Lord of Change directly. What? So you, you think Dagon will actually repair the razor? Ever since I was a boy, I felt this strange sense of destiny surrounding the Mythic Dawn cult. And now I know what it is. Don't you see? Fate has led you to me and to the pieces. Dagon has to answer our call. We're so close. I'll meet you at the shrine. Okay. I mean, that seems dangerous, but... Whatever, whatever floats your boat, buddy. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, meet him at the shrine, if we show that on the map. The shrine is up here. Shrine of Mehrun's Dagon. That's near the Lord Stone, Frostmere Keep, etc. Okay, um, I guess let's go to that shrine. Good, you're here. I'll place the pieces on the altar, and Dagon should... Good, you're here. So you don't have I'll to repeat yourself, but my, my hearing's just and fine, Dagon thanks. Should speak to us. All right, let's do it Merun's up. Merun's Dagon, the Lord of Change. We have brought your razor to you. We beg you, please, bring the blade's full glory to Tamriel again. It's not working. But why don't you give it a try? Just put your hands on the altar. Okay. You, mortal, you are worthy of speaking to. You have claimed the pieces of my razor. It has been an amusing game to witness. But Dagon does not declare a winner while there is a pawn on the board. Kill Silas. He and his family have served their purpose. Um, I don't know, man. I mean, he helped me find the pieces. I, I think he deserves to live. Only Dagon can declare if a pawn is worth keeping. I have spoken. Kill him. Take your rightful place as my champion, or I will crush you. Whoa. Okay. What? Fine. I'm not dying without a fight. Hey, bro. Hey, hey. There's no. Oh, God. Careful. Oh, Jesus. Here he comes. All right. Let's switch back over to my good buddy, the Warhammer. You don't like that very much, huh? Huh? 
Wow. Yeah, that's called being feindled. And you just got feindled, son. Let me check your body. Do 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 do. I could take back my pamphlet. Do 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 do. I do 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 do. That was not as exciting as I thought it'd be. Get down there, son. Yeah. And also, there's like some enemy down there. Who is? Oh, it's a troll. Doggone troll. Trolls be trolling. Uh, they ruins. I totally did him in. I am pleased, mortal. I will give you my razor. Use it to wreak havoc on Tamriel. Okay. Thank you. You have been a worthy tool. Fill the world with destruction in my name. Place your hands on my altar one last time, and you will witness the power of Merun's day gone for yourself. Uh Okay. Let's do it up. Whoa, that's that's pretty sweet. Awesome! Okay, cool, got it. Before you go, mortal, one final challenge. Oh my god! Jesus! Ah! Whoa! -hoo 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 -hoo. That was not what I was expecting. He summoned frickin' Daedra. Or Dramora. Or whatever. Oh, they have names too. Ah! Get out of here, son. Gotcha. Holy crap. I'll take that. The key to the shrine. Steel War Axe of Scorching. Uh, not really interested in that. Ebony Mace of the Inferno. Sounds pretty cool. Holy crap. Let's put that away. Uh, while we're here, why don't we go ahead and check the... Uh, Check the thing that we got. Mayrune's Razor. Hits have a small chance to instantly kill. That's awesome! That's really cool. Um, to be honest, I don't really need to hold on to this. Uh, Argyle, why don't you hold on to it? To oblivion and back, as they say. I need to trade some things with you. Need me to carry something? Alright, let's go ahead and, uh, give you... doop doop doo this, Mayrune's Razor. I don't know if you're automatically going to equip it. You did! Apparently you like that a lot. You like that more than your glass sword. To be fair, it actually does more damage and you could instantly kill things, so I guess I don't blame you. Awesome. May the hist guide us. May the hist guide us indeed. It's been a really fun adventure. Alright, well, that takes care of this episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and be sure to catch the next exciting episode of Fandol and Friends here on Stephen Place Skyrim.